I'm Nikita for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Coding practice with Kickstart's third and final session for the year is coming up on August 26th through 30th. Don't miss your chance to grow your coding skills with this unique opportunity. Coding practice with Kickstart is a four-day practice session where you'll have the chance to learn more about the Kickstart platform, utilize starter code to help frame your solutions, and interact with Google engineers. It's not a timed round and there is no scoreboard, which makes this a great way to hone your coding skills and get better acquainted with competitive programming. Make sure to check out the coding practice with Kickstart at g.co slash kickstart, where you can register and learn more. Each year, Google developer groups come together for DevFest conferences around the world, not only to exchange knowledge and share experiences, but also to get inspired, celebrate the community, and simply be together. The developer community in Ukraine and abroad decided to use the 2022 DevFest conference to raise awareness and funds for those in need. In July, DevFest for Ukraine gathered more than 20 industry-leading speakers over two days. All of the funds raised go to three NGOs that are supporting the country at this turbulent time. DevFest for Ukraine raised over 130K for the cause so far and counting. You can still access the recorded sessions to learn about the future of tech by clicking the link below. Google Cloud's managed machine learning platform, Vertex AI, now includes custom prediction routines, which simplify the process of writing pre and post processing code. When getting predictions from machine learning models, the data received at serving time is rarely in the format your model expects. Transforming the data can be as important as the prediction itself. With custom prediction routines, you can provide your data transformations as Python code, and behind the scenes, the Vertex AI SDK will build a custom container that you can test locally and deploy to the cloud. To get hands-on experience using this new feature, check out the blog below. More AI news for this week comes from the Google AI research team working on robotic learning with advanced language models. Robotic systems today are capable of executing only very short, hard-coded commands like pick up an apple, but they struggle with learning to perform long horizon tasks and reasoning about abstract goals like, I just worked out, can you get me a healthy snack? In partnership with Everyday Robots, the Google AI research team has published a new approach that uses the knowledge contained in language models to determine and score actions that are useful towards high-level instructions. It also uses an affordance function that enables real-world grounding and determines which actions are possible to execute in a given environment. Using the POM language model, the researchers have called this approach POM Say Can. Check out the blog linked below to learn more and read the original paper. Android 13 Source has been pushed to the Android Open Source Project, and the newest version has officially been released. Android 13 is focused on the core themes of privacy and security, as well as developer productivity, making it easier for you to build great experiences for users. The team has continued to make Android an even better OS for tablets and large screens, giving you better tools to take advantage of the 270 plus million of these devices in use across the world. To learn about all of the new features in detail, click the article link below from the Android developers blog. Lastly, if you're a Firebase user, be sure to check out the new Project Shortcuts feature, which makes it much easier for you to find the products that you're actually using. You can think of Project Shortcuts as a recently visited products list. They get added automatically as soon as you engage with any product in any of your Firebase projects. With the new custom nav, the products you engage with the most are the products that you'll see first, and the old products page will help you discover that Firebase has more to offer than you might have realized. We hope you find that the new nav saves you some time. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all of the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Nikita for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. This actually is a pineapple. Uh, it grew one pineapple, and then it never grew another one. So I'm hoping it'll grow another pineapple. <laughs>